टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मटेरियल्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मटेरियल्स और वी कैन से इंजीनियरिंग प्रॉपर्टीज एंड दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो फॉर द एक्सटर्नल वाईवास फॉर द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स एंड फॉर द इंटरव्यूज सो कॉन्सेंट्रेट थ्रू आउट द वीडियो सो दैट ऑटोमेटिकली you will understand each and every topics described in this video first physical properties like luster color density etc second mechanical properties like strength elasticity ductility hardness toughness malleability brittleness creep etc third thermal properties specific heats thermal conductivity etc next technological properties like machinability weldability castability etc next chemical properties composition microstructures etc next electrical properties resistivity conductivity etc next magnetic properties like permeability hysteresis etc next optical properties like reflectivity absorptivity etc now in the next slide we are going to discuss about the different mechanical properties and technological properties in detail so first types of mechanical properties although there are so many types of the mechanical properties but in this video i am going to discuss the different mechanical properties in details so first list out the different mechanical properties like strength stiffness elasticity plasticity ductility malleability brittleness hardness toughness resilience creep fatigue and corrosion resistance so we are going to discuss in details all these 13 mechanical properties first strength it is the ability of a material to resist the external forces without breaking the strength of material depends on type of loading various types of strength like tensile strength compressive strength shear strength etc so here the very important part for the strength is what ability of a material to resist external forces now second stiffness or sometimes it is known as rigidity it is the ability of a material to resist deformation under the action of external forces so very important resist the external forces for the strength here it is resist deformation or the stiffness stiffness is measured by elasticity now third one elasticity it is the ability of a material to return to its original shape and size after removal of load this property is desirable for tool materials material possessing this property is known as elastic material like mild steel rubber etc now here the important point it may be noted that mild steel is more elastic than rubber plasticity it is the ability of a material to be deformed permanently without fracture after removal of load plastic deformation will take place only when it exceeds the elastic limit this property is desirable for stamping on coins and ornaments now next ductility it is the property of a material which enables it to be drawn into thin wires under tensile force it is measured by percentage elongation gold silver copper aluminum mild steel etc are ductile materials now next malleability it is a property of a material by virtue of which 
इट कैन बी फ्लैटन और बैंड विदाउट क्रैकिंग वैन हैमर्ड गोल्ड सिल्वर कॉपर एल्यूमिनियम लीड एटसेट्रा आर मेलियबल मटीरियल्स नाउ द इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट ए मेलियबल मटीरियल मे नॉट बी डक्टाइल एक्साम्पल इज लीड दीज प्रॉपर्टी अनेबल्स अ मटीरियल टू बी रोल डाउन टू वेरी थीन शीट्स सो वेरी सिंपल ड्यू टू द मेलियबिलिटी यू कैन रोल डाउन द मटीरियल इन टू वेरी थीन शीट्स and due to the ductility the material to be drawn into thin wires now next brittleness a material is said to be brittle if it cannot undergo elastic or plastic deformation but it breaks under the external force materials having elongation less than 5% are considered as brittle materials glass cast iron etc are brittle materials this property is opposite to ductility hardness it is the ability of a material to resist scratching wear and abrasion hardness is the ability of a material to cut another material this property is used in selection of cutting tool materials hardness is measured by brenel test rockwell test etc next toughness it is a property of a material to resist fracture due to high impact loads like hammer blow and to absorb a certain energy it is measured in terms of energy absorbed per unit volume before it fractures so very simple toughness is the measurement of the energy absorbed per unit volume materials having good toughness are cast iron high carbon steel ceramics etc next resilience it is the ability of a material to absorb or store energy when it is subjected to impact loads and shocks materials releases the stored energy on removal of load so it is very important in case of resilience material releases the stored energy on removal of load this property is necessary for spring materials next creep when a part is subjected to a constant stress at high temperature for a period of time it will undergo a slow and permanent deformation is known as creep so very simple for the creep the material is subjected to a constant stress at a high temperature this property is useful for machine components subjected to high temperatures like boilers turbines ic engine parts that means internal combustion engine parts etc 40 a material fails at stresses below the yield point when it is subjected to repeated cyclic loads so very simple if it is repeated cyclic load then material will fail due to fatigue in fatigue failure the maximum stress developed in each cycle is within elastic limit that means material will fail not at yield point but within elastic limit common example of parts due to fatigue failure are shafts connecting rod gears springs etc now the last one corrosion resistance corrosion is the gradual destruction of the metal due to its exposure to moisture acids and other chemicals very simple destruction of the metals due to the moisture acids and other chemicals is known as corrosion corrosion resistance is the property of the material to resist the corrosion so thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video